Welcome to Commode Express, where we explore the world of maritime industry and its broader impact on our planet. In today's video, we're diving into a crucial topic, the impact of the shipping industry on the environment. Shipping is the backbone of global trade, responsible for moving 90% of the world's goods. But this massive industry also comes with significant environmental challenges. Let's explore how shipping affects our oceans, air, and overall ecosystem. The maritime industry, a colossal force driving global trade, is a double-edged sword. While essential for economic growth, its operations have far-reaching environmental consequences. From the vast oceans to the delicate coastal ecosystems, the impact is profound. To understand the environmental impact, we first need to appreciate the scale of the shipping industry. Over 50,000 merchant ships are currently active, crisscrossing the world's oceans to transport everything from food to electronics. This massive fleet burns large quantities of fuel, primarily heavy fuel oil, a byproduct of crude oil refining. While shipping is an efficient means of transportation, its environmental footprint is substantial. The industry's vast reach means its impact on the environment is global and multifaceted. One of the most significant environmental impacts of shipping is air pollution. Ships are a major source of greenhouse gases, GHGs, particularly carbon dioxide, CO2, contributing to global warming. The International Maritime Organization, IMO, estimates that shipping accounts for nearly 3% of global CO2 emissions. But CO2 isn't the only problem. Ships also emit sulfur oxides, SOx, and nitrogen oxides, ENOx, which contribute to acid rain, respiratory problems in humans, and the formation of fine particulate matter, which is harmful to both human health and the environment. In recent years, there have been efforts to reduce these emissions through regulations like the IMO's sulfur cap, which limits the sulfur content in ship fuel. However, these regulations are still in the early stages, and compliance and enforcement remain significant challenges. Beyond air pollution, the shipping industry also has a direct impact on marine environments. Accidental oil spills, though less frequent today due to stricter regulations, still pose a significant threat to marine life. When an oil spill occurs, it can devastate local ecosystems, killing fish, seabirds, and other marine animals, and causing long-term damage to coral reefs and shorelines. But oil spills aren't the only form of marine pollution from ships. There's also the issue of ballast water. Ships take in ballast water to stabilize themselves, and this water is often released at their destination. Unfortunately, ballast water can carry invasive species that disrupt local ecosystems. The introduction of non-native species can lead to the decline or extinction of native species, fundamentally altering the balance of marine environments. Another often overlooked impact of shipping is noise pollution. The constant drone of ship engines and the use of sonar for navigation create underwater noise that can be harmful to marine life, particularly marine mammals like whales and dolphins. These animals rely on sound for communication, navigation, and finding food. Excessive noise can disrupt these activities, leading to disorientation, stress, and in some cases, even death. The cumulative effect of noise pollution is an increasingly hostile environment for marine species, which can have cascading effects on the entire marine ecosystem. The hum of ship engines, a constant rhythm across the world's seas, comes at a significant cost. These vessels are major contributors to greenhouse gas emissions, releasing carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrogen oxides into the atmosphere. These emissions exacerbate climate change, leading to rising sea levels, more extreme weather events, and disruptions to marine ecosystems. The environmental impact of the shipping industry doesn't end when a ship's operational life is over. Shipbreaking, the process of dismantling old ships, often takes place in countries with lax environmental regulations. These shipyards can be hazardous, both for workers and the environment. Toxic materials like asbestos, heavy metals, and oil residues can leach into the surrounding environment, polluting water and soil, and posing serious health risks to the workers. Waste management on ships is another critical issue. Despite regulations like MARPOL, which aims to prevent pollution from ships, 
illegal dumping of waste still occurs. Plastics, chemicals, and other waste products can end up in the ocean, contributing to marine pollution and harming wildlife. Our oceans, once pristine and teeming with life, are increasingly burdened by plastic pollution. Microscopic plastic particles, often originating from the shipping industry, infiltrate the marine food chain with detrimental effects on countless species. From seabirds to marine mammals, wildlife is entangled and suffocated by plastic debris, leading to population declines. The specter of oil spills looms large over the shipping industry. These catastrophic events, often caused by accidents, human error, or equipment failure, wreak havoc on marine life and coastal communities. The cleanup process is arduous and expensive, and the ecological damage can be long-lasting. Beyond oil spills, the discharge of harmful substances and pollutants from ships poses a significant threat to marine biodiversity. Port activities, while essential for trade, also contribute to environmental challenges. Air pollution from port machinery, vessel traffic, and cargo handling operations impacts air quality in nearby communities, leading to respiratory problems and other health issues. Additionally, port runoff containing harmful pollutants can contaminate coastal waters, harming marine life and impacting recreational activities. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, the shipping industry, governments, and international organizations are working together to implement sustainable practices. Advancements in ship design, the development of cleaner fuels, and stricter environmental regulations are steps in the right direction. Despite these challenges, there are ongoing efforts to mitigate the shipping industry's environmental impact. The IMO has introduced regulations to reduce sulfur emissions and is working on strategies to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by at least 50% by 2050. Additionally, there is increasing interest in alternative fuels like liquefied natural gas, LNG, hydrogen, and even wind and solar power to reduce the industry's reliance on heavy fuel oil. Initiatives such as the International Maritime Organization's IMO, regulations on air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions are crucial in driving industry-wide change. The development of green ports, equipped with advanced waste management and pollution control systems, is another positive step. Furthermore, technological innovations, including the use of alternative fuels and energy-efficient vessels, offer promising solutions. Technological innovations, such as more efficient ship designs, slow steaming, and the use of exhaust gas cleaning systems, or scrubbers, also hold promise for reducing emissions. Furthermore, stricter regulations on ballast water management are being implemented to prevent the spread of invasive species. The shipping industry is indispensable to our global economy, but it comes with significant environmental costs. As the world becomes more aware of the importance of sustainability, the industry must continue to evolve and adopt greener practices. This includes not only reducing emissions and preventing pollution, but also rethinking how ships are built, operated, and ultimately dismantled. The future of shipping depends on our ability to balance economic growth with environmental stewardship. As consumers, we also have a role to play by supporting companies and policies that prioritize sustainability. Transitioning to a sustainable shipping industry requires collective effort and a long-term commitment by prioritizing environmental protection, investing in clean technologies, and fostering international cooperation, we can safeguard our oceans for future generations. Let's work together to create a cleaner, healthier planet by supporting sustainable shipping practices. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content on maritime issues. Stay safe and see you in the next video.